thimerosal. I know you've heard that word, right? Thimerosal. It's that ingredient in vaccines. Is it poison? Is it dangerous? Does it hurt you? What's the deal with thimerosal? So many of you guys have asked me about it. You want to know about it. So we're breaking it down today. But first, um, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a board certified family doctor. And if you like health news like this, uh, news you can use on a daily basis, quirky health stuff, I mean, you name it, celebrity health stuff, I got it for you. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to get updates. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we're even talking about vaccines because you thought this segment was about thimerosal and you are right, um, you're definitely not wrong. They are related. So the thing about thimerosal is, you know, what is it? Um, it's a compound that's traditionally been used for years in vaccines and other things uh, to serve as a preservative. Now, a preservative in this context is something that will keep the vaccine from becoming uh, contaminated with bacteria. So the idea behind thimerosal and vaccines traditionally has been to keep that vaccine safe and without bacterial contamination. Doesn't sound so bad, right? Right. So you're probably wondering, well, what's the problem with thimerosal? Why do people have issues with it, you might say? Well, this is why people have had issues with it. Thimerosal is a mercury-containing compound. Now, you're probably thinking mercury, mercury, mercury. That doesn't sound so good. Well, you might be onto something. So let me explain. Thimerosal is a mercury-containing compound, but there are different types of mercury. Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not. So the poisonous kind of mercury that a lot of people are thinking about is methylmercury. That's the type that's super bad and super poisonous and no good. However, thimerosal contains ethylmercury. Researchers think that ethylmercury is less likely to cause harm because, well, number one, um, it's used in very, very small amounts. Number two, ethylmercury is processed by the body differently than other types of mercury. And number three, it's less likely to build up in the body. Okay, so are you feeling a little bit better about this thimerosal thing? But wait, the great news is that in 1999, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, was tasked with taking a look at our vaccines and other uh, things that we use, eat, ingest, all that kind of stuff, and was tasked with taking away as much mercury and mercury-containing products as possible from these things. Uh, good idea, right? As a result, by the way, of this 1999 ruling, and as a result of knowing that we can make vaccines without thimerosal, um, today, and I'm reading this verbatim, today, no childhood vaccine in the United States, except some formulations of the flu vaccine in multi-dose vials, I'll explain that later, uses thimerosal as a preservative. Wow, that's amazing, right? So I know so many of you are concerned about thimerosal and mercury and things like that, but the truth of the matter is, in today's day and age, there's only a very, very small sliver of vaccines that actually uses thimerosal in the product. Now you're saying, well, what's up with the flu vaccine and multi-dose vials? Why that gotta contain thimerosal? For flu vaccines, to make sure that enough people throughout the country can get their flu vaccines, um, we have to send out thousands and thousands and thousands, like so many doses. And so an efficient way to get people the vaccine, since so many doses are used, is to use multi-dose vials. That's what they're called. So we often use multi-dose vials, which is the idea that the glass vial with the medicine, the, the vaccine in it, we hold it upside down, we stick the needle in, draw out the liquid, we give the shot, but there's still some left, meaning we continue to draw from that same vial. It's a multi-dose vial, right? Every time you go to stick a needle in that vial, the potential exists for bacteria to get in there. So it's in those multi-dose vials that thimerosal still um, remains to help with bacterial contamination and to prevent that. Ah, oh, so guys, is this helpful? I really, really, really hope this is helpful because I want you to understand that number one, that thimerosal is not poison, okay? Thimerosal is used in a specific way for a specific purpose. And uh, most vaccines, most, most all vaccines, most of them um, don't even have thimerosal anymore. Very important to know. Guys, I totally hope this was helpful. Remember, if you want health news that you can use on a daily basis, if you like quirky health stuff, celebrity health stuff, whatever, I gotcha. My name is Dr. Jen Cottle. Please make sure that you um, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to get updates. Thanks.